Welcome to my channel. How about your day? We are always here to update extremely interesting news about the royal family. The breaking news we want to share today is that, Meghan's explosive biography has leaked an excerpt. What's the next logical step for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after promising never to work with four of Britain's biggest tabloids after incursions into their privacy? Collaborating with friendlier journalists for a tell-all biography, of course. Yes, Meghan and Harry are supposedly giving their side of the story for thoroughly modern royals, The Real World of Harry and Meghan, a new book by Omid Scobby and Carolyn Durand. Intrepid investigator Lisa Graves has uncovered the account of her life that the Duchess of Sussex provided to the two reporters. An exclusive excerpt from the forthcoming Meghan Markle biography. Every little girl dreams of meeting her Prince Charming. I was no different. We are taught from an early age that meeting the perfect man should be the most important goal in our lives. Fairy tales convince us that one day, a gallant and powerful man will come into our life, sweep us off our feet and save us from whatever hardship we are being forced to endure. As I grew up, I began to question this, and the Disney dream crumbled into pieces the more I examined it. Why should a woman's success be completely dependent on the man she marries? A woman is a person in her own right and is as valid and empowered as any Prince Hans Christian Andersen or the Brothers Grimm ever dared to create, right? At the tender age of eight, I swore I would reject the tired expectations society had attempted to force upon me, and I knew then and there what it was to be a feminist. By the time I was 11, I had already begun my role as a feminist activist when I challenged the sexist conventions of a dish soap commercial and won. As I blossomed into womanhood, I was confident that I needed no Prince Charming to come and rescue me. I started dating my first husband, Trevor Engelson, in 2004, and we married in 2011, shortly after he cast me as Meghan in Remember Me. Sadly, we divorced just before I got my big break in suits, 18 months later. I guess after seven years of dating, I suddenly realized that the film director, producer, and talent agent Trevor Engelson just wasn't my type. Ho-hum, that's how it goes, I guess. Sure, it was upsetting and everything. Divorce is never an enjoyable experience, boo-hoo whatever, but I took heed of my childhood feminist awakening and remained determined that I did not need a man. I was in suits. No prince had arranged that for me, not even the film director, producer, and talent agent Trevor Engelson. My self-obtained acting career was all I needed, and my talent alone would see me through. I married Prince Harry in 2018 after a whirlwind romance and I left Suits because well, my life had started a new chapter. I think it's obvious to everyone what I see in him. I mean, he's just so like nice? You know, he looks good. He's sort of really okay. Yeah, I've never felt this way before. Harry is completely different to anyone else I've ever met. He's British so he talks different which is interesting. I like his clothes. His hair is cool, like, it's not just brown or blonde or black. We get on well and sometimes he tells me jokes which I laugh at and that seems to make him happy. We make a good team. Now I know what you're thinking, but Megan, after everything you said, he's an actual prince. Haha. Ha. Yeah, you got me. But you know what? When I said I didn't need a prince charming that didn't include an actual member of the royal family. I think I made that clear. In any case, he's not technically a prince now after everything that went on. He's a duke. So, I'm still being true to myself. It makes me despair when I hear people say, she knew what she was getting herself into. I mean, yes, of course, I did. I am not a fool. I did plenty of research. I watched The Princess Diaries and The Princess Diaries 2, Royal Engagement, like a bazillion times so I knew precisely how hard my role would be. But trust me, the queen is no Julie Andrews. Honestly, you would not believe the ego on that woman. I mean, who does she think she is? I was in suits. The book is described as telling the couple's real story. For that, we can wait. Please leave comments that you think about this couple. Share this video for everyone. Subscribe to my channel to make sure you never miss any royal story.